Welcome to our World News Program. Today, we're diving into some intriguing developments across the globe. First off, Tesla is making headlines again, not just once but twice, with significant price reductions on its full self-driving software in the US and across its electric vehicle lineup in China. This move is seen as an effort to boost sales and tackle increasing competition in the EV market. Meanwhile, the rare earth minerals market is witnessing a tectonic shift, with increased offshore exploration threatening China's dominance as the world's top supplier. Countries like Australia, the US, and Myanmar are stepping up, potentially reshaping the global supply chain. Lastly, Malaysia is pitching its geopolitical neutrality and strategic advantages to lure multinational semiconductor companies, aiming to become a bigger player in the chip industry. These stories paint a picture of a world in flux, with technology and resources at the heart of the change. Please stay tuned for more detailed coverage. In a bold move to boost sales and outmaneuver the competition, Tesla has recently announced significant price cuts for its full self-driving, FSD, software and its electric vehicle, EV, lineup, both in the United States and China. This strategic decision reflects the company's efforts to make its innovative technology more accessible and to strengthen its position in the rapidly evolving EV market. Yahoo US reported that Tesla has slashed the price of its full self-driving, FSD, software by a substantial third, bringing it down from $12,000 to $8,000 in the United States. This price reduction is part of Tesla's broader strategy to make self-driving technology a major revenue stream. Despite the FSD software offering advanced driver assistance features, Tesla has yet to achieve full self-driving capability. To make the software even more accessible, Tesla introduced a subscription option, allowing customers to pay $99 per month for the service. This move comes at a critical time for Tesla, as the company faces falling sales and increasing competition in the electric vehicle market. In addition to the FSD software price cut, Tesla has also adjusted its vehicle prices in China, mirroring the reductions made in the US. Yahoo US highlighted that Tesla's prices in China have been reduced by nearly $2,000 across its lineup. This adjustment includes significant cuts to the starting prices of the revamped Model 3 and Model Y, now priced at 231,900 Chinese yuan, $32,000, and 249,900 Chinese yuan, respectively. Tesla has also reduced the prices of the regular versions of the Model S and Model X, as well as the high-performance Model S Plaid and Model X Plaid. These price cuts come as Tesla faces an intensifying price war in the Chinese electric vehicle market with rivals introducing cheaper EV models at a faster pace than Tesla, which has been criticized for the slow refreshment of its aging models. Nikkei Asia further confirmed Tesla's price adjustments in China, noting the lowered starting prices for the Model 3 and Model Y. This strategic move aims to make Tesla's vehicles more competitive in China, the world's largest market for electric vehicles. By reducing prices, Tesla is not only responding to the competitive pressures but also seeking to attract a broader customer base eager to transition to electric mobility but deterred by high costs. Tesla's recent price cuts in both its FSD software and its EV lineup are a clear indication of the company's determination to maintain its leadership in the electric vehicle industry. By making its technology more affordable, Tesla aims to accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles and self-driving technology, ultimately contributing to a sustainable future. However, these price reductions also highlight the challenges Tesla faces, including increasing competition and the need to continually innovate to meet consumer expectations and regulatory standards for fully autonomous vehicles. As the EV market continues to evolve, Tesla's strategic decisions will be closely watched by industry observers and competitors alike, marking a critical period in the company's quest to redefine transportation. In the dynamic and ever-evolving world of global trade and industry, the tides are shifting, and the status quo is being challenged. From the depths of the ocean to the bustling markets of China, the landscape of rare earth supply, semiconductor manufacturing, and gold trading is undergoing significant transformations. These changes are not just altering the business strategies of nations but are also reshaping the global economic power balance. Starting with the rare earth mineral sector, the South China Morning Post reports a fascinating turn of events that could potentially dethrone China from its long-held position as the king of this critical market. For years, China has dominated the supply of rare earth minerals, crucial components in manufacturing everything from hybrid vehicles to smartphone screens. However, the winds of change are blowing as increased offshore exploration diversifies the rare earth supply chain. Countries such as Australia, the United States, and Myanmar are now unearthing substantial quantities of these minerals, significantly reducing the global dependence on China. 
This diversification is not only about finding new sources but also about securing more stable and sustainable supply chains. With China's share of total rare earth exports dropping from 90% a decade ago to roughly 70% in 2022, the implications are clear, the monopoly is breaking, and a more competitive market is emerging. Meanwhile, Malaysia is leveraging its geopolitical neutrality to become a burgeoning hub for the semiconductor industry, as reported by Nikkei Asia. The country's trade minister, Zafrul Aziz, highlights Malaysia's unique selling points, a strategic and earthquake-free location, well-established infrastructure, and a workforce proficient in English and Mandarin. Over the past 50 years, Malaysia has carved out a significant niche for itself, controlling about 13% of the global market for chip packaging, assembly, and testing services. This strategic positioning not only underscores Malaysia's importance in the semiconductor supply chain but also showcases how geopolitical neutrality can be a potent tool in attracting multinational investments. On another front, the South China Morning Post sheds light on China's role in propelling gold to a record-breaking rally. Amidst global economic uncertainties, Chinese demand for gold has surged, driven by retail shoppers, fund investors, futures traders, and even the central bank. The People's Bank of China, in particular, has been on a remarkable buying spree, diversifying its reserves away from the dollar and hedging against currency depreciation. This aggressive accumulation of gold underscores China's strategic move to bolster its economic security and stability in tumultuous times. The accelerated pace of gold shipments to China, with imports for the first two months of the year being 53% higher than in 2013, is a testament to the country's growing influence in the global gold market. These stories, from the diversification of the rare earth supply chain to Malaysia's rise in the semiconductor industry and China's bullish stance on gold, illustrate the fluid nature of global trade and economics. Nations are continually adapting, strategizing, and competing in a complex web of interdependencies. As China's dominance in rare earth minerals faces challenges, Malaysia's strategic play in the semiconductor sector and China's appetite for gold highlight the multifaceted strategies nations employ to secure their economic interests. These developments not only affect the involved industries but also have broader implications for global economic stability, security, and growth. As the landscape shifts, the only certainty is change, and the ability to adapt and innovate will be key to thriving in this new era of global commerce. Taiwan's defense ministry is gearing up for discussions with the United States on deploying a portion of a hefty $95 billion legislative package. This funding, primarily aimed at bolstering security assistance for Ukraine and Israel, also earmarks a significant sum for Taiwan. Despite the lack of formal diplomatic relations, the United States stands as Taiwan's paramount international ally and the principal source of its arms. This move comes at a crucial time as Taiwan confronts escalating military intimidation from China, which asserts sovereignty over the island. Nevertheless, Taiwan's government firmly dismisses these territorial claims, asserting its independence. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.